everyone. I think it's safe to say that AI is going to change every single industry in ways we can't even imagine. So in this series of short videos, I'd like to show you what it takes to integrate artificial intelligence with your applications. And specifically, my examples today will concentrate on IBM I applications and IBM I data and how you can enhance them with AI. So we've been in the business of futurizing our customers' technology stacks for many, many years. And traditionally that meant improving the user interface, improving the application code, integrating applications with API. But lately, we've been exploring quite deeply, I might say, the use of artificial intelligence to extend your applications. And what we're finding is that the possibilities there are endless. So you might even argue that the ideal user interface to your data and to your application is not gonna be some amazing responsive web or mobile application, but it's the ability to simply ask your application for the information that you need. And if you could do that in a way that you ask your friend or ask any human being to simply tell the application using natural language what it is that you want it to do, that would be ideal. All right, so let's explore the various ways that AI can play a role in your applications. We'll be taking a look at a number of different ways in which we've been able to enhance our customers' applications with AI. And the first one that we're gonna take a look at are gonna be AI co-pilots, which is a way to help users navigate within the application. Secondly, we're gonna take a look at AI plugins, and this is something that allows tools such as ChatGPT to interact directly with your data and your application logic. And we'll also be taking a look at extending your applications with API calls to large language models. And as part of that, we're gonna explore what it takes to index large amounts of data for the AI to consume. And that could be your IBM I application data, or that could be any other kind of data. All right, I'll see you in the next video.